Saw High School is unlike any other school because all students who attend get an academic experience rooted in agriculture. And when I say rooted, I literally mean boot deep in grass cuttings, horse and cow manure, and hay. After all, the school is a farm. And on this farm is one large compost pile. It's so large, even the Philadelphia Zoo comes to my school to compost their poo. Eventually, all that organic matter decomposes into wonderful topsoil that's either used in our farm or sold to the community. It's one circle of life moment, but before we get all akuna matata about our composting efforts at Saul, I have one big issue with what's not being put into my school's compost. For my senior capstone project, I was inspired to address how can Saul create and implement a lunchtime system that will allow students to sort, collect, and compost the biodegradable plates we use in the cafeteria. I spoke with Ms. Virens, head of the food service at the School District of Philadelphia, about a Channel 10 news article that was posted on their website called Eco-Friendly Lunch Trays Debut in Philly Schools. It was published on February 14, 2018 by Mule Smith. The article states this district also plans to pilot programs at Saul to compose the plates. It's almost been a year later and we still haven't seen any signs of this program. Why hasn't this been initiated and when will this plan take place? Well, I can only imagine that with over 200,000 kids in the school district of Philadelphia, uh, it wasn't making sense to keep producing the styrofoam trays that used to be produced because, number one, they would fill landfills since they don't decompose. And we went through a lot of them. And even though the compostable trays are slightly more expensive, I do think that the district is really looking at how we can become more sustainable in the long run. The first idea behind the plates was to really get rid of the styrofoam. So once we had the composting, the compostable materials in the school, the idea long reaching is that the city of Philadelphia, they have the ability to do that compost. That's really what we need. So we're actually a little ahead of the curve. We have the compostable plate before we have that system set up. So Saw is unique in that. We have a big compost operation across the street. It is a mixture of greens and browns um, that come together through a chemical process that break down. And we use that to go back as fertilizer on our pastures and, and our crops. And it's one of the ways that we can create a more sustainable um farm and agriculture operation across the street. Uh, Now is the time to be able to concentrate on making some systems that make sense and putting some procedures in place uh, to move this forward. I think that we were probably at a standstill, but now I think we're ready to move forward. Students like you can advocate, and if we can figure out how to do it at Saul, maybe there could be a blueprint from what you come up with that can be shared with other schools, and we can get more schools who want to compost. What we've learned in this pilot process is that we really do need the students and the school to have the buy-in to make these programs work. Was there a system to get the plates into the compost that you or you know, other members of the food section of the school district had in mind when you first thought of using the plates? Because unfortunately in food services, we, get, we have funding to serve the food, but there's no funding after the meal is served for us to be able to pay for um, composting and delivery and those kinds of things of the composted material. If it's student driven, if it's student led, I believe that every teacher would be on board with that. Able, like, will you be willing to help others, like your friends and other students, put the plates in the correct bins? Well, yes, judging the fact that I know more about the plates than they do, just based off the fact that, you know, I'm an environmental. And they're going to listen because if a friend do it, hey, they're going to do it too. We can't just say, okay, put the plates here. We have to, like, really explain to the students what's going on, like... Throw this here, throw that there, this goes in the landfill. Have it out, like, you know how our trash cans are out? We can have those out, too. Having it be very clear and doing that 
as many times as needed until the students are in the habit and it's an expectation that this is how you dispose of this here at Saul. And it's going to take just a little bit of organization, but I also think education on behalf of the students so that they know why we're doing it and why it's important and how to separate their trash at breakfast and lunch um, into the right bins so that then students can take the compost, the compostables over to the compost pile. We need to be able to give back to our soil that we use at Saul, like across, across the street, like all over the school, all over the school. Like taking it across the street, we're gonna have to, like to have maybe like a couple people, like from like maybe like classes or not, who wants to be a part of it to like take it across the street, put it in the compost. I feel as though we should have a assembly, like maybe twice. A, no, like once every two weeks, about, and we just discuss on how much how much it's actually working, how much trash we've collected, the compost, the recycling. But we, we do need um, some sort of, I guess, systematized way of getting the compost from here to across the street. If resources are needed, like extra trash cans or bins for the compost, I think um, we can figure out ways of getting those materials to the school. Uh, but I think students standing at those containers, helping students understand that one, it's important to the school that we do this, and two, this is how you do it. In conclusion, these were all great and wonderful people who have spoke today. And I believe that setting up a system for students to use and easily transfer the plates from the cafeteria to the compost will be great for our school and other schools that might use the system in the future. With the help of students, staff, the principal, and the school district, we can surely push, push ourselves to properly dispose of these compostable plates we use here at Saul.